Hey guys, x 50 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to wire up a smoke detector for a fire alarm system to a fire alarm. Okay, so let's go over a few things. Now this, what I'm about to show you guys, will only work with commercial, um, or not commercial, but smoke detectors designed for fire alarm systems, not smoke alarms because those are either 120 volts AC or battery powered, so those really won't work, but it will only work for smoke detectors like this that are designed for um, fire alarm systems. So with the wiring, um, this really will only work with conventional two wire or four wire smoke detectors. It won't work with addressable, unfortunately, because it requires an addressable panel, but you know, so, Let's get started. So this will work with any fire alarm device, so horn strobe, strobe, or horn chime, etc. As long as you have the right voltage for it. Um, and so you can use any type of uh, conventional detector, four wire or two wire. So there you go. So what you're going to need is first, your smoke detector, of course. Second, your fire alarm device that you want to use. Third, you'll need three 9 volt batteries or whatever your device needs to operate and then you'll need um, three wires or alligator clips doesn't matter whichever and brain power so yeah let's get to wiring first thing you want to do is open up your smoke detector by taking off the base and seeing what type it is. Now mine is head wired so it means all my wiring is on the head. Yours might be base wired meaning when you twist it off there's going to be nothing on the back but there'll be terminals on the base. So it might look what what am I supposed to do? Try to look at the label and see if it says anything about two wire or four wire and if you can't find anything about that look up the model of your smoke detector and see if there's any documentation on whether it's two wire or four wire. But if it's a four wire detector, two um, terminals are supposed to go into the zone, then another two terminals are supposed to go to power. So how you would do it is you'd have the two power ones, plus and minus, go to the plus and minus of a battery, so like a nine volt battery or something, and then the other two would go in the circuit. But since mine's two wire, I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. So first what you wanna do, I just dropped the base of it, is, um, you want to flip over both your things. And so first, you want to take right there, see the minus number one right here? You want to take that and get your wire, a wire, doesn't matter if it's like wire that you would use. I don't know how to explain it, but you can use basically any wire. So we'll go ahead and clip that in here. Like I was saying, you don't have to use um, alligator wire. I need to unscrew these. You can use any type that would work. So, so I can screw these good. Um, I'll, also sh I'll also show you later in the video how you can hook up um, two or more smoke detectors and a pulse station, two or more pulse stations. So now that you have this one in, the minus right here, go ahead and run that to the plus of your notification appliance, so whether that might be um, horn strobe, strobe, or horn, chime, etc. Go ahead and connect that to the plus of that right there. So I have minus going to plus. Next thing you want to do is go back to your smoke detector and take your other wire and go to the plus of it. Connect that just like that or however you would wire it. And now this will go to the plus of your battery. Now take your last wire and hook it up to the negative or minus of your strobe, horn strobe, etc. And there you go. And see, another important thing is you need to check and see if anything comes loose. Because that wouldn't be good. So there, everything's good. So now what you want to do, I'll go ahead and flip these over. Make sure it's connected. And now take your three batteries or whatever this needs to be powered with and connect them like this. See if we can focus here. 
Sorry about that. Let me see if I can. Oops. There, kind of, but just connect them like. Let me see if I can focus it one more time. There. So connect them like this. See? Connect it like that. And do the same thing on this side. So now you got your power supply right here. Set that down. Try to refocus. All right, so once you got that, take the minus of your notification appliance, connect it to the minus of your battery or the, the big one right here. Not that one, this one. This one right here. So go ahead and connect that like that. And then take your other one from your smoke detector and plug it in just like that. So now we have created the circuit right there. All right, so now that you got your circuit working, you might see your detector blank. Um, so we'll go ahead and test it. Now the cool thing is this, is when your smoke detector activates, it will stay activated until the power gets cut off, which is a cool feature. Not really a feature, but something pretty cool. So let's go ahead and activate it. I'm going to press the test button with my screwdriver. So here we go. Three, two, one. And now it's activated. I don't know how well you can see that LED. And the strobe is going a little bit slower because my batteries are about to die in the power supply. See, you can see the de detector's LED is on. So that's why the strobe looks like it's about to die, but it's just because my batteries are running low. So now, to reset, if you will, go down to your batteries right here and just unplug one of them, and now it'll reset. Then you can plug it back in. So there you go. Okay, so now let's see if we can try wiring up two smoke detectors to our little circuit. So here I have another uh, system sensor one. This one just has a heat detector on it, but it doesn't work. But it is generally the same thing. So let's see if we can do that. So you can have, with this, what I'm about to show you, you can have as many smoke detectors as you want, as long as the power is correct. And I'll also show you, and you can also swap out a smoke detector for a pulse station. So what the wiring I'm about to show you, you can, instead of doing it to a smoke detector, you could do it to a pulse station instead. And you can also have multiple notification appliances. So let's go ahead and get wiring. So how we need to do it, is we need to make these be connected, but if one activates, it will complete the circuit. So here's how we're gonna do it. We are gonna have the minus of this one. So we'll have this one as the end of the circuit. So it will kind of run like this, if you wanna say. So first have the minus of one smoke detector. Go to the minus of your second one. So let's do that. So I got some actual wire, because it would be a little bit difficult with alligator clips. So, take the minus of this one, put in right here, this other little screwdriver, and screw that in. There. So minus of this one goes into the minus of your other smoke detector. So I'll put that in. And from that minus, it will go to the plus of your notification appliance. So I'm gonna get another wire. And I'm gonna just wrap them together like this. And then I'll stick it in like that. And I'll screw it in. In. So now the minus of this, let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. So now the minus of your smoke detector will go to the plus of your notification appliance. So let me see if I can get that in. Screw that in. If I can. All right. And now, the uh, so minus of your smoke detector 
goes to the plus of your notification appliance. And now, the minus of your notification appliance will go to the minus of the battery. So, put over that for now. Okay, so now that you got that, we'll do the same thing but with a plus. So, plus of your smoke detector, right here, this wire is giving me a little bit of trouble. We'll go, so we'll go ahead and screw that in. And like I said, you can have as many smoke detectors as you want. So you'd go like plus, to plus, to plus, and then etc. So I'm just doing two for an example for now. I don't want to do like a million of them, but... So, here's the plus. Now, we'll take our other wire. So, plus. We'll go to the plus of this, and then from the plus of the smoke detector, we'll go to the plus of the battery. So you can create a circuit. So now, plus from this, go into plus of the smoke detector. The next one. Screw that in. And now... We got that, so plus of the smoke detector, I'll go ahead and clip this, we'll go to the plus of the battery, just like that. Okay, so now that we got that, let's take our batteries, and I'll have the minus connecting to the minus, and the plus connecting to the plus, just like that, so now the circuit is on. Let's go ahead and test them, let's test this one. I'm testing it. There it goes. Activated. See? But we didn't have to activate the second one, which is really cool. Now we'll just disconnect, turn off the circuit, and resets. Now let's test this one. You might have just saw that one blink. Oh, this one blinked. We can put it in. There you go. Now it's activated. And like I said, my batteries are running pretty low. Probably saw this one blank. Let me reset. There we go. Let's turn on the circuit. Maybe you can see him blink. Possibly. Um, there. So now let's test both of them and see what happens. So let's test this one on. Now let's do this one and see what happens. And it, they both activated. So there you go. Like I said, you can do this with as many smoke detectors as you would like and as many notification appliances as you want. But in a later video I'll show you guys how you can wire up multiple notification appliances. And like I said, if you would like a pull station smoke de and smoke detectors or however just instead of wiring it, wiring up a smoke detector, use it with a pole station instead, and it'll do the exact same. So, yep. So that is going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope I helped some of you that had questions on this. Um, if you have any questions about the setup, feel free to ask. If you have any comments you'd like to put about my setup or wire or whatever, feel free to post. And I guess I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!